All right, guys, this is the ViewSonic M2E. It's a very portable and premium projector that's full HD. It's an LED projector, which also has sound by Harman Kardon Audio. Now, if you are familiar with Harman Kardon, they are a very premium audio company that gives you very good output, punchy bass, just very good sound for multiple different devices. Incorporating that in a projector like this, I think is pretty much a game changer. Let's go ahead and unpack this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and showcase on my projector the audio quality so you guys can hear how great this sounds. In addition to that, the video quality as well, I'll show you a demo video, because this has Movie Cinema Color Plus, which just takes the level of detail in the video quality to the next level. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, a very nice box. You have yourself the user manual. Okay, let's carefully unpack this. This is the projector itself. You'll notice it has this nice white and space gray design, which I think looks great. Just a quick check on the ports. You have yourself the power button, the audio output for your headphones, you have a HDMI port, a USB-C port can double up as a input for media and also to charge and power on the projector. USB, and you have a micro SD slot there just above it, and then a DC input there to power it as well. This is the front of the projector. You have yourself the bulb inside there and you have your sensor there. You've got the Harman Kardon logo just printed on the right hand side. If you wanted to mount this on a specific tripod, you have a quarter inch thread there as well. And just at the bottom, you have yourself a little kickstand that you can just pull out and angle the position of the projector depending on your screen. Else in the box, let's take a look at all of the accessories. This is great. You've got yourself a carry case, which is actually a very nice one for the projector to go in there along with all of the accessories. I'm really impressed with that. Inside here, you also have yourself the remote control. And with the remote control, it pretty much has all of the buttons that you expect, it's pretty standard. You have yourself the DC adapter and brick charging cable. And then you also have a USB-C to USB-C cable as well. Now, just before I head into the other room to set this up with my projector screen, this also has inbuilt local storage of 10 gigabytes. So if you wanted to store your media, your movies, your TV shows via USB, you can transfer it to the internal storage on the projector and just play it directly off of that, which I think is absolutely great. Then obviously it has Bluetooth as well and Wi-Fi capability, so you can connect wirelessly to a whole host of devices. If you wanna use your Bluetooth headphones, you can connect that and just use that to listen to everything you're watching on the projector. If you have something like a Amazon Fire Stick, you can also connect you know, HDMI external devices to get all of your on-demand apps directly on here and just use that to stream everything rather than external connections. But because this does have Harman Kardon speakers, this can actually double up as a Bluetooth speaker. So you can connect your phone via Bluetooth to this projector and use the projector itself as a Bluetooth speaker and use the punchy bass and the sound to disperse around your entire room, giving you a great audio experience. So even that I think is a brilliant touch and I will probably give you an example of that as well. Maybe connect up my Spotify from my phone and see how that sounds as a Bluetooth speaker. Last but not least, I will be powering this with the charging brick that comes in the box. Also, because it has that USB-C input to charge the projector, that means you can connect a power bank to power on the projector as well, making it very portable. So if you wanna take this outdoors, maybe you wanna to go to your back garden in the summer, maybe have a movie night with your friends, take a power bank with you, and just a side disclaimer that the power bank should have 45 watt of power and also a 15 voltage of output that would really support the power delivery on the protocol of this projector. But if you do have that, then you can just take this on the road and take it wherever you like. So now there's nothing else left to do. Let's head over to the other room, connect this, see how it sounds, see how it looks, and overall see how it performs. So I've got my projector screen down now and I've just connected it, I've loaded it up. It's on the main menu screen at the moment. I've got the two AAA batteries in the remote control. But before I go ahead and showcase to you guys how the audio and video sounds, just wanted to let you know, this also has automatic keystone and automatic focus. I think that just saves so much time. If you just wanna set it up on your tripod or your tabletop, wherever it may be, 
the last thing you want to do is spend five minutes setting up the focus manually and getting the keystone correction perfectly accurate with the remote control, which does take a lot of time with the four corners. If you just wanted to move the projector just like a meter away, you just want to readjust it. To go through that whole manual process to get the focus and the keystone correct again is such a hassle. So having that as automatic, I think it's brilliant. If you did want to disable it and use the manual mode, then you can do that from the settings as well, which I'm gonna showcase now. Okay, so I've now mounted the projector onto my tripod with the base plate, and I've got it around four meters away from the projector screen, which gives me a maximum projection of 100 inches. The ideal size to get the maximum clarity in the picture would probably be around 80 inches, but nonetheless, it's a very good size. Just a quick run through of the menu screen. So you have an app center here, if you go in there, you have smart YouTube TV, but then you can also download more apps through Aptoid. You have the Bluetooth option, like I mentioned earlier, to connect to other devices like your phone or some headset. If you just go into settings, this is where you can connect to your Wi-Fi. So I've just connected that already. You have your date and time, but let's go into the basic settings. You can change your language. You can also set the projector projection position. So right now I've got it set to front table, which is the standard. If you go to rear table, it will adjust it to project the right angle of the screen, depending on the location. If you've got it on the rear ceiling, you can do it like this, and then also front ceiling. So it flips the projection accordingly to where you have the projector laid out. So I'll leave it there as front table. You can set auto keystone. You can also disable this to do it manually. You've got zoom levels, and then you've got the focus down here. So right now, I've disabled the autofocus, but you can enable it. And there's a button on the remote control that will set the autofocus anytime you want to adjust it yourself manually. Advanced settings, you've got your power source, your ringtones, auto power on, energy saving, the Harman Kardon audio modes. So I've got it set to movie, which I believe will probably give me the best. You can also go to user preferences and change and adjust the equalizer manually yourself like so. And then you also have music mode as well. Light source level, I'll leave it as full. High altitude mode, I've kept that as disabled. And then you can also factory reset your projector in case of any issues from here. So all pretty standard functions. And then you also have the options to add apps here to your home screen, which I think is great. And if you wanted to screen mirror, maybe your phone, your Android or your iOS, you can also do that very easily from this option here. And here's some instructions on how to do that with both iPhone and on Android. And like I mentioned before, this has internal storage of 10 gigabytes, so you can access all of those files from the file management folder. At the moment, I don't have anything stored on here, but this is where you'll be able to access anything at any time, which I think is great. From the home screen, if you go down, you'll bring up all of the other connection points. So you have HDMI, USB-C, local storage, USB and micro SD. That's where you'll be able to access all of these connectivity options from. So now let's go ahead and give you guys a audio sample by playing a YouTube clip by Harman Kardon Audio for one of their devices. It's the Aurea Studio 3 promo video and I've sat near to the projector, near to the microphone, so you guys can hear exactly how good the quality is and I'll have the volume at its maximum level. But just remember, what I hear might be slightly different to how you hear things depending on your speakers or your headphones that you're using to listen to this video. And hopefully this will give you a good idea on how clear and how punchy the audio sounds through this projector. So as you guys may have heard, you know, that was very loud and I think it just gives super crystal clear. And like it said in the video, the sound is visually stunning. And obviously if you do connect this to maybe a soundbar which has external subwoofers, you can get the maximum audio experience for maybe watching movies through this, which I think is absolutely great. 
Now I'm going to make it a little bit more darker in the room and give you guys a video test to see how clear and how visually stunning the video quality is in terms of its vibrancy and its colors. So let me go ahead and give you a sample now. Okay, I'm going to play another YouTube clip showing a very vibrant color video from LG OLED. Now, one of the reasons why I showed you that specific video is because it has so many stunning visuals in there and a wide variety of colors. For me personally, if you see it in person in comparison to what you're seeing it through my video recording camera, I just think everything from the clarity, the sharpness, the contrast, and the vibrancy in that video was so good. It's probably one of the best that I've seen on any projectors that I've had. So for me, I'm super impressed with this. This is one of the reasons why I may start using this projector now to watch all of my movies on my big screen here. In conjunction with the Harman Kardon audio, it makes the audio and the video visual experience so much better by having something like this. And the fact that it's so portable and it packs all of that into a small device such as this is a big win for me. Okay, and the final thing I wanted to showcase to you guys is to connect my phone via Bluetooth using the projector as a speaker. So you can see it has three options. The first one is using this as a Bluetooth speaker. The second one is Bluetooth pairing between both devices. And the last one is Bluetooth out if you wanted to connect your own speakers, your headphones, soundbar, anything like that. So I'm going to go and select the first one. It will go into Bluetooth speaker mode. Select yes on my phone. M2E just appears there at the bottom. I can select this. gives me a pairing code. Now that I'm connected, the projector itself will go blank because it's now just using the projector as a speaker so you wouldn't need to see any visuals on the screen itself. Okay, now that it's connected, I'm just going to play some sample music from my Spotify. So hopefully you guys found that very useful and you did enjoy the audio and the video experience. If you are viewing this in person, trust me, it's a lot better than how you guys may be watching it in your screens, whether you're on your laptop, your computer, your phone, and also with the audio, depending on how good quality speakers or headphones you have listening to it. And based on how portable and how compact it is, that's actually the most impressive thing of all. Now, one thing I like to do personally is to use a USB 
or a USB-C hard drive to connect to my TVs. This can do both things and I can connect this in both ways to this projector and get complete buffer free video experience. Now this comes in at £549 on Amazon. I'll have the link down in the description below. They may have some offers running from time to time so make sure to check the latest pricing information and any other information about the M2E. If you guys have any specific questions about it do drop a comment down below. As you guys can see, you know, the quality is absolutely amazing, but if there's anything else you want to know about maybe the settings or its capabilities, then I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe. I have tons more tech reviews out every week and I'm going to do more projector reviews in the future as well. So make sure to hit that button so you don't miss those ones and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.